Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, between the end of the last episode and this one, the dust storm popped up. It's bound to happen every once in a while. This might actually help us. Um, might mean we might be able to pull these guys over. I'm not sure this is going to be enough in the way of traps. I suppose we do have a couple of fallback positions we can rely on, so let's go ahead and do that. We set up some fire wire, like, say, I don't know, set up in likely spots, like here and here. That might get triggered by the trap, but maybe not. And then another fallback, like here and here. Of course, that's a risk of getting surrounded, but that's just a risk we're going to have to take. And then some blast wire, in like a fallback position, so there's red grass here. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Um, let's go like there and there. Now, if we don't use any of this, we can always pick it back up, obviously. There. Okay, and then do another blast point. Maybe electricity this time, like right here. Wants to be prepared. And then another one over here in case they try to flank me. Okay. So now let's do something dumb. <laughs> it's basically what it comes down to. Let's do something dumb. Let's go ahead and taunt the monstrosities. All right, the best way to taunt them, uh, most of those guys are going to be weak against electricity. The exception is the trampler. The frost is actually going to be better. So maybe we go ahead and do frost. We can craft a lot of these. So I don't have any problem with doing that. That should land right on top of them unless I've totally misjudged distance. Totally did. Might even get frosted. He did. He totally got frosted. He doesn't know where it came from, but he suspects. He might just be frosted all to hell. Harvester will work on this guy? Not from this distance, anyway. No, no. He went into the wrong spot. He's wondering where I am, which is fair. Hard point arrows on the long legs could work here. There we go. Face towards me. Gotta put up a fight. Okay, if he comes up and then gets shocked or something. Okay, I mean that was not quite what I expected there. Okay, that took a lot of health. And I'm corrupted. There we go. Hard point arrow. Oh, what the hell? Okay, sure, get me that way. Maybe I didn't back up enough. They're all on fire now. I don't know if you know that. They're probably on fire. Okay, there we go. He's out. Okay, come on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Come up that way. Did I just get a Glint Hawk attack? Is that what that was? Or a Snap Maw? What the hell? Somebody's shooting frost at me. It's not actually at me. That's the bird. Could be their. Oh, could be their. Um, their compatriots don't appreciate the corrupted kind. There's a glint hawk over there that seems to be attacking the corrupted ones. I mean, I'm okay with that. I didn't realize you could pit them against each other. I guess it kind of makes sense. I grabbed the blast wire because I'm not actually sure what to do with it. We have the glint hawk actually. Calm, calm. I mean, maybe the glint hawk gets. He might actually get them all, but I guess he gave up. Okay, hold on. We can totally take out this last long leg here. If I aim for the back. That did not work. Come on, one more. Nope. What I meant was two more. That worked. <laughs> not quite how I planned, but it totally worked. Thank you. The tramplers are still alive, I believe. 
Yeah, did I not actually take out any of the tramplers? I might not have. We got a long leg heart, though. Don't think it matters if it's corrupted or not. Okay, there's, yeah, still two tramplers over there. Again, no red grass. But with these guys frosted... Okay, let's look at the notebook and make sure we are tackling the tramplers correctly. I don't even know why they lost interest. Okay, so the power cell is... Okay, up at the top. I see it. All right. There's the power cells with shock arrows triggering explosion electrifying anything in the area. All right. Of course, the processing unit disables fire-based attacks and triggers an explosion burning anything in the area. Of course, they're not exactly vulnerable to explosions, but they might be vulnerable to shock. And, of course, the excavation horn attacks would be bad, too. But shock arrows... I do not currently have a weapon equipped to can do that, but we can change that. What are shock arrows? The warbow, right? Yeah, warbow totally does that. So trade out... Shit, man. I mean, all this stuff's useful, but... Yeah, trade out the sharp shot bow. The war bow. We need to trade out our war bow so that it does more stuff. But in the meantime, we can totally craft more of those. And then see if we can target the top part of this guy here. I'm technically hidden, but I guess not really. So let's make this official. Um, I mean, frost works better against these guys than fire. We can frost these guys. That'd be good for me. How about we go ahead and try to frost you? There's only so far this can go. Maybe I frost this guy instead. I think I can frost this guy. That actually missed, but also hit at the same time. There we go. Okay, so now he's frosted. So now with him frosted... I need to hit that with electricity. Come on. Uh oh, got it. That did not work. Okay, really quick. Set up a fire wire. There, there. He went around it. He went around it. Okay, now he's on fire though. He didn't actually go around it. Hey man, you want to come over here? Come over here. You know you do. You know you do. And shit. Can't really hit much here. It really requires us to get behind him, I think. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Well, then you want to get frosted, son. Or maybe not. He didn't stay in the area. Oh, but the Glint Hawk's helping us. Okay, that could actually be really good if the Glen Hawks helps us out. Let's go ahead and go to inventory, get the sharp shot bow again, and then with that we can do some terror blast arrows and definitely ruin their day. Right on target. There we go. So that disabled his fire and did a bunch of fire damage to him. Oh, and his friend, and actually that actually worked. That actually worked. I can't believe that worked. Okay, can we take this guy out? No, he's just alerted to our presence, but I think that's okay. How are you not on fire? He's too far away for that to work. Chance. There you go. Now you're both on fire. Okay, that one died. That was easy. Now you're going to be on fire. I can do that again. Oh, okay. No big deal. No big deal. That missed you somehow. Do not appreciate that. There you go. So now you're dead. You don't know it yet, but you're totally dead. Okay, that worked. Corrupted Zone's taken out, and the Glint Hawks that I didn't even know were there was taken out. And we got the Glint Hawks to help with frost attacks, which totally wrecked the Trampler's shit. All in all, good work, I think. And we need that trap. Thank you. I'll take that back. Take that too. Okay, so the tramplers went over there. 
Dude, if I knew known it was going to be that easy, I totally would have taunted the Glint Hawks over there, like, in total. But still, it worked out to our advantage pretty well, I think. Hey, medicine. It's nice. We're actually doing a pretty good job with all the corrupted zones thus far. We've pretty much taken them as we see them. We don't have to come back or anything. We're doing pretty I well. Can get out of this. Got what? So is there another Glint Hawk? There very well could be. They usually come in threes, right? Where's the third one? Ah, uh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, we can get out of that if we wanted to. Or we totally wreck his shit. How about that? Hmm. Though he's flying in totally the wrong direction. Yeah, he's on his path. He's totally on his path. Okay, so he's not even going to do anything to us. Right, we have a bunch of reward boxes that I haven't even opened. A bunch of reward boxes for taking out the... Uh, to get a bunch of creatures, and also for collecting a bunch of things and handing them to the right people. So we should probably look through that eventually. I'm wondering if we have, like, infinite space for reward boxes. That might be true. Because that's just frost rhyme. That is not medicine. Okay, or freeze rhyme, rather. Okay, corrupted zone gone. Great. Was there next on the list? We were going to go up, up, and away, because our quest is, like, all the way up here. So we're going to go around. We're going to go all the way around. We're going to get to that tall neck. That's what I wanted to do, get to that tall neck. What's next on the list, though? I mean, we need snap maw hearts, so that might be it. Yeah, actually, that could be it. Snap maw heart might work. What I do want to do, though, is we have some errands we've already done. We need lance horn heart. Like one more fox again. I don't think we're going to find any foxes in the... Oh, do you find foxes in the desert? Which is like coyotes, right? But maybe the coyotes are all extinct. And the foxes took their spot in the ecosystem. Shadow Warbo. Okay. And I don't really want to go back until we get the stuff for the golden fast travel pack here. Is there a place I can go really quick that has... Um, doesn't seem to be any place on the map that has that specifically so no not really all right i mean that was probably just fanciful anyway right so we're gonna go to that tall neck i guess so let's go to the snap maw here looks like there's a strider there glint hawk there oh you know what when i go around so i should go to this campfire when i go around that's where the glint hawk's gonna be he's gonna be on that side i suppose that's fair um all right let's go there we go, Eli. Go ahead and book it. It's a tough run, but I know you can do it. You're stronger than I am. I feel no shame in saying that because she is badass. I am typically not. Oh, hey, medicine. I should grab that medicine. We always need medicine. Some chargers over there. They're not lance horns, though, so I'm going to leave them alone. See, guy over there. What the hell? Are you just walking along, dude? Arja Spearman. Okay. I mean, you're blue, not yellow, so that means you're friendly. Okay. The turkey, I should totally be able to take out, right? Not with fire arrows. I keep doing that. Oh, I'm also almost out of hard point arrows. Craft a bunch of those. I have 1,144 Ridgewood. I'm probably fine on Ridgewood for a little while. Um, all right. Need more frost, need more fire, need more traps, and electric traps too. So we're starting to use those a little bit more. Okay, and then go back over to regular arrows just for, you know, regular stuff. All right, there's some rabbits here. They might have some fatty meat. Oh, 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 oh. Fox. You're mine, Fox. I'm hoping you have a skin I can use because that's all I desire in this world. Oh, it would also be great if he had fatty meat at the same time, but it looks like he, we um, ruined the skin when we killed him, so that's just how that goes. But he did have two fatty meats, so all we're left with is the fox. What the hell are you doing? Are you doing some kind of salvage op? Alright. Hold on, is that another fox? Totally another fox. Alright, just be careful of that Glint Hawk, but otherwise I think we can totally do this. 
Nope, not uh, not what I wanted there. All right, well, maybe there's another fox. Yep, right over there. Wow, so okay. Foxes totally took over the coyote niche in the ecosystem. I expect the glinthawk to come back, but he might not. Depends what he was doing here. Oh, there's snap maws. We still need snap maw hearts, so that can be a thing. Let's go ahead and take the fox out really quick. I missed. You're not gonna like this. Oh, and I freaking hit the freaking snap maw instead. That was clever of you. That was clever of you. Okay, so we might be in trouble. He might come right over to where the where it came out. But then we can override him, right? Yeah, we override him, barely doing any damage. And he'll take out the other snap maws. They won't have been expected. So he doesn't turn around. If turns around, that's an issue. Come on, you want to come a little bit closer. A little bit closer. There you go. There you go. Let's do this. Okay. Since I was in the red grass, no detection. Maybe. Yep, we're fine. Okay. So now go attack your friend. Yeah, there you go. Got the first hit. Way to go. If I can throw in some fire bombs, that would actually help you guys out, right? He is not on fire, but he should be. He's going to be in a minute. He's going to be in a minute. There you go. Probably wondering where that came from. He doesn't remember attacking, apparently. Now they're all wondering what the hell happened. I can override any one of you at any time. Well, not any time, but pretty close. Okay, he's going to go into the water to cool off. They're all apparently going to go into the water to cool off. Can't allow that. Oh, I set two of them on fire. One of them's gonna die straight up. Especially if you stay in the fire, you morons. Stay in the fire, you burn to death. Don't you know how that works? Stop, drop, and roll, man. We didn't die. That's bullshit. You're gonna die right now. It's gonna happen. Okay, granted, that was probably not the best idea in the world. It did work, though. I've got to admit, it worked. I killed the one guy, anyway. Can I override you, or does that have to be done sneakily? It has to be done sneakily. Okay, back up, back up, back up. We can set these guys on fire, right? There you go. He's on fire now. That Glenhawk's just moving around. What the hell is that green light on that damn Glenhawk? You, you can't hit me. You don't even know me. He's burning, but he's not going to burn to death. At least not yet. It's going to happen, though. You can't lose interest in me, buddy. Now you're going to die. There you go. What the hell is that green light on that Glinthawk? There's also a watcher just randomly roaming around. Should we be able to take him out? Assuming he looks in my general direction. Come on. Oh, okay. Well, the Glenthawk totally sees me. Maybe. Must be a yep. A flying scavenger. Missed him. Oh, missed him again. Okay. Well, that's one down. Oh, this guy now decides to attack me. How does that work? There you go. You're just out, man. You don't even know it yet. But you're out. All right. Hello, Glenhawk. Can't close the gap. I don't know what that means. Can't close the gap. Also, wasn't even aware you were here. Okay. Fire all wasted, but that's totally fine. Can't freaking this guy. There we go. He's down. Go ahead and heal. If I can come up to this guy and stab him in a good spot. There we go. He's out. The snap maw shouldn't be too far away. Process metal block. Yeah, okay, and he sees me. He knows I'm here. 
It's all right. We weren't going to hide from this guy anyway. Fires are up. You're going to burn, buddy. Introduced. Hope you're burning right now. Don't even know how hard you're going to have it. Yes, that was meant to be a little bit of a pun. There we go. He's out. Yell up, and we're good. What the hell are you guys? If you're lance horns, you're dead. Um, I can't even detect them this far away, apparently. Got some medicine. Search a rat. I didn't even know we killed a rat, but apparently we did. No, those are tramplers over there. I don't need to take out any more tramplers. We're good. Went through a little bit more of my health that I really wanted to, but... Oh, right. Okay. Forgot we killed the fox there. More ridgewood. I definitely don't need more than a thousand wood right now, so I think I'm good. Around here somewhere, though, is the um, are the other snap mods I took out, right? Unless I already took the their stuff. Maybe I did. I think I also hear a glint hawk flying. Could have sworn that's what that sound is, but maybe not. Okay, here's the other snap maw. Take all of your stuff. You have a snap maw heart. He is heartless. Well, you know it's gonna happen. Wax root. So. Oh, maybe I'm hearing those tramplers over there. Well. Alright, so yeah, that was the last Glint Hawk there. Strider's over there. For some reason, not showing me the tramplers, but that's gotta be what happens, right? Are the Striders really, like, actually on the road? Um, those are tramplers on the road. I recognize them anywhere. Those are not striders. Also, I don't think I can ride tramplers, although that would be awesome. Can I ride tramplers, please? I'd like to ride tramplers, please. We can override tramplers. Not quite the same thing, but, you know, an amazing simulation. All right. There's some watchers. There's some red grass right here. So maybe we can do is like whistle for one of the tramplers. He comes over, we override, he takes out his friends. Maybe? I don't know, we haven't saved in a little while, which concerns me. Because I don't want to have to do that snap moth thing all over again. There's a watcher over there. There's another oh no, those are those are the striders way off in the distance between uh, between the tramplers and the tall neck. Okay. Okay. We can do this. One direct hit to this watcher. And he's out. Oh boy. Now that's red. How do they see me, though? How do they see me, though? There's no way. Also, we just walked right through that. How do you see? There's also four of them. Fucking hell. Uh, one of them did get trapped, which is good. But I don't know if this is necessarily going to help me. That did not help. That did not get in the right spot at all. There's a bunch of red grass here. We should just crouch down into it. If they don't know where I am, then that's all the better for me. Yeah, and they're, they're all going away. They might actually just totally retreat, but they might not. I don't know. They're all questioning what happened. I guess they all looked at their watcher friend, but how oh do they know? Boy, it does it. How did they know where I was when I took out the watcher? I mean, they did at least move off the road, and that I appreciate. But how did they know? I don't understand that at all. Okay, can I whistle for one of these guys? No, it's not letting me. X out. No chance. Alright. Um, only other thing we can do is like tear blast arrow. Try to get a couple of good hits on like one of the central guys. And then I'm actually visible now. There we go. One of the central guys and then that'll release a bunch of fire. Okay, what do you see then? What do you see? I'm invisible. You can't see me. Your guy is... Okay, now they're all going. What the hell? 
but I'm not turning red. I'm actually poking out more than I think I am. According to this, I am in cover. So I don't know. We blasted a bunch of frost right there. That got two of them. Oh, okay. Yes. There we go, a bunch of fire. Whoa, a bunch of fire there. Blow off your other. There you go. Get another hit in. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Right. Well, that's better, anyway. I don't think they can actually charge through trees, but they do have to go around. I don't know, would a rope caster be a good idea right now? I don't know. We actually did get a burning kill. I'm kind of surprised by that. Knocked him down. There you go. Knocked him out, then he burns to death. Okay, we've actually only got one trampler left. And he's running for it. He's booking it away from town as fast as and far as he can go. And he's still on fire. Okay, hard for arrows. A couple of more of them will totally take him out. There you go. Like I said, a couple more. Then he's gone. I don't think that actually count, should count as a burning kill, but, you know, I'm not going to fight it. Trees are getting dense and tangled. Are they, though? Are they, though? <laughs> are the trees getting dense and tangled? We actually didn't lose too much health there. We were a little too close to some of the explosions, but that actually worked out. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Not sure I actually need more Ridgewood, but I'll take it anyway. We can get another Trampler Heart. We can probably sell that for a pretty penny. Though I don't know if that actually, how often that comes up. Metal Shards we absolutely need. We always need Metal Shards. Currency of the world, you know. The trampler himself. Luminous Braiding. Okay. Don't know if we'll ever need that either. You gotta wonder when you see big pieces like this and they turn into, you know, Metal Vessel. What exactly, how exactly is she carrying these things? Okay, is there any chance there's fish in this lake? River, whatever. I don't care. There's a rat. Don't we still need rat skin or something like that? So let's go ahead and tag the rat. Let's tag the other rat too. If I can. There you go. Let's see if we can get the rats. But apparently no chance of getting any uh, fish, huh? Fish are just not in any other lakes or rivers or any bodies of water at all. Don't know why fish are so hard to find. I guess then it wouldn't be a challenge to get them all, right? I mean, I suppose I have to accept that. Current's kind of strong. What is this? Oh, it's metal shards. Okay. Probably a piece I knocked off from somebody somewhere. Alright, so the rat... The marker went away. The rat's no longer around. Alright. There's some watchers over there, but I don't care. Is there a fire nearby? There's some striders... The tall neck. The nearest fire is like way over here. Or at least the fire on the way to the place I want to go. So, alright. Light it up. Let's go. It is on this side of the river. It's just around a curve. You know what? We do have... I totally forgot. We have that one more guy we wanted to take out, right? The guy we were contracted to kill because he escaped. Yeah, that right there. It's Sunstone Rock. Well, shit. I could fast travel here and then fast travel up to that fire. Up to... I mean, I want to go over to this tall neck. So up to, like, that fire, maybe? That'd be a little faster. I still need a snap maw heart. So going over to this fire wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing in the world. I mean, we would have to travel up. But I do need a Lancelorn heart, too. So that should be fine. 
Yeah, I totally forgot. Do we want to do that now or do we want to do it later? Mm, let's do it later. We still need to do the snap mall. We still need the lance horn. That's in the stuff in the in the now, right? So let's just worry about that now. So not the shell walker. So okay, it is on this side of the river. Do we want to go by the shell walkers though? We can go over to this campfire and at least save our game. Oh, that's why the trumpers were in the road. They roamed. I got you. They roamed around here. So that area should be empty of tramplers now. Which means it might be safe from the shellwalker, though it is a convoy. And I don't know where they're going. Because, yeah, there's a shellwalker convoy there. I don't know. They could be going anywhere. I have no idea where that convoy is going. Yeah, it's hard to tell. All right. Well, that's the fire we're going to. So this must be the convoy here. Yeah, that's a shell walker for sure. And looks like a bunch of grazers. Oh no, that's not a convoy. It's just a just a watcher. All right, we can avoid that guy then. All right, we were farther away than I thought we were. All right, yeah, we just avoid these people. That's okay. But going this fire and saving our progress seems like a really good idea right now. Okay, just run for it. Anything on this side I need to be worried about? Not so far. Looks all clear. As far as the eye can see. Of course, we've already touched this fire before. So when we came down. Okay, there we go. All right. Medicine? Yep, medicine. Okay. That's the Shell Walker Convoy with Watcher Escort. Okay, Watcher Escort should not be a problem. Theoretically. If I can actually get the terrain to not fuck me over here. Okay, the terrain might have fucked me because I don't know if I'm going to make it to the red grass in time. I did somehow. It falls like a spider. It carries a container on its back. I wonder what's inside. I wonder if I should just let these guys go. They're going to be on their merry way, right? So, I mean, I don't need their stuff inside, so I can just let them go by. Is that a raccoon or a fox? It's a raccoon. Okay. If it was a fox, I would totally take it down. There. It's a broadhead. Watcher over there. Are they gonna come back around this way? Cause that'd be pretty funny. Nope, they're just going. They're just going. Okay, let them go. I could have taken them and take some loot, but I don't really need anything from Shellwalker specifically. I mean, I know they carry other random stuff. I mean, they do carry like um, Lancer components. I don't know if they go. I don't know if it's mapped out that they would go from cauldron to cauldron. That would make sense though. And we got to do a supply run, you know, make things in one area where you're rich in resources and then go to another area where you're poor in that resource. You know, that would make sense. Yeah, there's glint hawks over here. I didn't even, I totally forgot that was a thing. Okay, so the glint hawks have a large area then. That's like their nest over here, but then they have this entire area, I suppose. Seems a little unfair. Also a watcher up there, but I should be able to take him out. Or just go behind his back, I guess. The glint hawk's more troubling. There's no trees to string up traps with. But look at this wide, wide area. Is that actually a glint hawk or is that a storm hawk? It looks freaking big. Okay, yeah, it's a glint hawk. Okay. I don't know if the watchers are actually going to be a threat. They might call in reinforcements, but it's so hard to tell. If the glint hawk comes in, I don't know. So he's going to be up there for a little bit. Can I set him on fire? Hard to tell. I don't know where my aim is there. I wish my aim wasn't dependent on what I could look at, but I suppose that wouldn't make much sense otherwise. Should be able to take this guy out, though. How did I miss that? It's on to me. Can't freaking hit this damn thing. I don't know if he's going to be able to get to me, though. He's going to forget about me by the time he goes all the way around. 
somehow I'm visible though. I guess because he's on to me. Oh, okay. Well, he called in some friends. Some snap maws. Setting them on fire when they're. Oh, okay. If I set that guy on fire though. Might set the watcher on fire too. It did not. It just set the snap maw on fire. Okay. They're heading back. This Glen Hawk's not entirely sure what's going on. Okay, but now they might think I'm over there and start going on that island. The dust storm's not going to help me, though. It's not going to be a friend of mine. All right. Oh, yeah, if you go right here, that's actually great. Then I could totally set you on fire. I dropped it! And then maybe also some electricity to kind of shock you. That did not work. You're not going to stay up there, huh? I'm bad shot. Bad shot. I should feel bad. Heal, heal, heal. Nice uh, aerial bombardment there, but not going to work out to your advantage, sir. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get your loot because you're going to fall down and then just die. So that's going to be a thing that's going to happen. Yep, he just died. Can I set you on fire? Apparently not. Because I'm a bad shot. How about this? Hard point arrow. Really hurt this guy, you know? Oh, come on. He just likes to go running for it. Okay, well, then the snap mods are going to come back around for this then. I'm okay with that. Starting to run out of blaze canisters here, but we'll make it work. And the snap mods going to, it's the same snap mods going to be fooled again. He's going to come over to that area and get totally wasted. There's going to be a different guy. Don't we have a snap on at half health? I don't know if it's this guy or not. Okay, well, you want to play hardball? We can play hardball. Maybe not, though. I have to be able to hit you to play hardball. Um, yep, not actually going to work. Okay, playing this long distance game is just not going to work for me. Let's get out going. Is there any. F There's no fish in this water, huh? There's pieces of something down here. I don't know what, though. What is down here? What is this? Oh, it's a fish. He has a talisman tooth. Please tell me this is a fish skin. That would be the best news ever. I'm not entirely sure what killed this fish. I'm guessing it's going to be being stomped on. It's fish bone. Being stomped on by the tall neck. I don't know what else could possibly have done it. Just go about your business. Alright, if they're gonna let me swim this way, then that's okay by me, I guess. A lot of wasted resources on trying to take out those snap maws and watch her from a distance, but it's okay, we can rebuild. We can rebuild our stuff. The Glenhawk's just out of our way now. It's unfortunate we don't get his pieces, but trying to find him would be a pain in the ass, that's for sure. So just grab what medicine you can on your way over here. And try not to get killed by the random watcher here. Yeah, random watcher here. Yeah, come over here, buddy. I have a stabbing potion for you. And by potion, I mean spear. Come on. And die. I don't think he was part of a larger group. It doesn't hurt to look. I don't think so. Oh, ha. You could snap a right now. Maybe him. It's a random snap ball, huh? So, can we actually... So we need Terror Blast arrows. Take that component off, right? That is not a Terror Blast arrow. That's a Terror Blast arrow. Sorry to spoil your fun. And then once that's done, then we use a Harvest arrow. Oh, okay, that made him see me, though. Okay, you can predict my patterns, that's fair. And he goes into the water, 
leap out. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Not very helpful to me right now, though. Why don't you go and burn? Okay, and while you're burning... I'm running out of tear blast arrows here. Our point arrows might be what I want to do, though. That's not what this is, but this might also work. I have no idea what his weakness to frost is. Harvester. Oh, he moves way too fast. He is down by quite a bit of That's health, it. though. I'm already gone. He's trying to figure out how to get to me, which is fair. Come on, we gotta be able to harvest these pieces. Unless, of course, he doesn't want me to. Alright, hard point it is. Or we can try a little bit of fire, Scarecrow. If you want to come over here. I don't actually need to come over here. I can just hit you from here. No. He moved. He moved. That's my only excuse. Okay, he's going to take less damage in the water, but he's still going to take damage. And that will be enough, because then he will die. There he goes. Dead in the water. Somehow he caught fire. Not sure how that worked. So we need to wait until he's done being on fire before we can set him on fire again. He knows where we are, though, so we should move. Try going forward here. There we go. All right, then he comes out. Set him on fire again. He's gonna have a very bad day. Let's make sure it's a worse day. And he's out. Is there another one? There's a freaking another one here. All right, buddy. You wanna see what happened to your friends? Let me show you what happened to your friends. It came about like this. That was almost a perfect shot. That could have been better, but it was still pretty good. We can snap off these pieces. He's gonna have a really bad day. He's not sure about me, which is fair. Yeah, go back in the fire, moron. He's going to do that diving attack that's so impressive, but not before he does a lot of frost. It's okay. He comes over here. That makes my job easier. Hey, buddy. You want to make my job easier? Come over here. Okay. You don't have to come over here. You can just burn. I'm okay with that, too. Of course, you can't see me now. It'd be funny if he gets stomped on by the tall neck and just dies. That is not what happened, but that would have been hilarious. All right. I'm looking for a snap my heart. Anybody have a heart? Heart of metal, heart of stone, not too picky what. Blue marker, maybe? Nope, resist range damage weave, and it's not even that good. Alright, grab more medicine then. I need this. The dust storms are out of control. Looks like there's another dead fish there. Not sure how that happened, but I'll take it. If I can get it. The tall neck's way over there, so not a threat to me. There's another dead fish. What do you got? Fish bone. I need fish skin, not fish bone. Freaking bony fish. There might be more dead things over there, or it might be chill water. I don't know. This is another dead fish. Blue. Fish skin. Holy shit. Oh, hello. Random watcher. Do not appreciate that. I can't do anything while I'm swimming, though. Get out of the water, Aloy. You need to... Okay, jump as far and fire as far as you can. Uh, regular arrow, I guess. How did that hit me? That freaking bounce move they do. Well, I should have set off his aim, but it didn't. Son of a... They have really good predictive ability. You know what? I'm tired of your shit. Burn. There you go. He's gonna die now. He's gonna be in too much pain to do anything else. Except for die. Yeah, you can go into the water. I think that'll help. It's not, by the way, not gonna help. Okay, there's more fish in here, but we gotta wait for the tall neck to go by before I do anything stupid. I mean, I've already done a couple of stupid things, so, you know, I'm trying to limit my stupidity down to, you know, just the absolute essentials. What's an essential stupidity, you ask? Something you can learn from. <laughs> I mean, you can't avoid being stupid. I'm sorry. It's true. You can't avoid being stupid. 
we need more echo shells. How do we get more echo shells? Hmm. There's an answer to that question. I just don't know what it is. I mean, at the very least, we buy them, but... Okay, go ahead and go back to the hunter arrows. I mean, this should be just an easy shot. Take out the hunt... Take out the, uh... The watcher, and that's it, right? He's looking right at us. Maybe. Maybe not. I have to wait for the, uh... Tallneck to go by anyway. Okay. I mean, the stomping is not helping there, Tallneck. Kind of threw off my aim there. I have no idea how long this watcher is going to look. Yeah, he didn't stay for very long. Alright, let him be then. Let's go grab everything while the wa while the tall neck's away. Yeah, there's a lot of fish over here. No other blue marks though, so chances are... Um, this is all just going to be fish meat. Which is fine, don't get me wrong. We, Well, actually we don't need any more fatty meat, do we? I was about to say we do, but we totally don't. We're done getting fatty meat for a little while. We do need a fox skin, I think. Yes, we still need a fox skin. That's right. So we ended up getting fox meat and fox bone. We didn't get any fox skin. It's alright. It'll all come to us in time. More chill water. Lots and lots of chill water. That That's was... Refreshing. Probably the, uh... Oh, there's another fish over here. I mean, I suppose we might as well. Oh, it's a red-eye watcher. That might be we had such a hard time taking it down. That's gonna be my excuse. I don't know if that's actually true. Another glint hawk up there. The place is just full of various beasts that want us dead. Alright. I mean, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do much from here. Terror Blast Arrow could work. We don't have very many of those left, though. Fire arrow is probably going to be better, though. We have more of those. You're going down. Okay, he goes up. He is actually on fire. I don't think he actually was on fire. I think that made up. I think that was made up. There we go. Now he's on fire. Of course, he's in the river, so that's not going to last for very long. But if I can keep him on fire, that'd be good. Stay down. There you go. Yeah, stay down. Exactly. Oh, the watcher just moved. I think that's a red eye watcher. I'm also pretty sure. Oh, that should have hit. Freaking Glenhawks. It'd be funny if I piss off the tall neck, right? Can't actually happen, but I don't think it can. Okay, the Glenhawk's dead. Now we got this red eye watcher. There we go. Now he's on fire. He burns to death. That's it. Okay, that's it. They're all gone. Might as well take out this red eye watcher, too. I don't know if it's actually a red eye, but I totally whiffed that. There we go. That was better. That didn't set him on fire? Excuse me? There we go. That's better. And then he dies. Your turn. I missed you. I'm really bad at this game, apparently. Okay, now you're scared. That did not work. There we go. Now you're now you're dead. That was a hell of a lot of fire arrows. Going through blaze like it was going out of style. Um, speaking of Blaze, what's the best way to pick up Blaze? Um, from... Well, not from Snap Maws. That's going to be Chill Water. So, basically, all the beasts I just killed with fire, I need to take something out with, with um... I don't know. I need to take it out with Frost or Shock or something. Something that uses Blaze. So, that would be... Almost anything else. Almost any of the other monsters all probably drop blaze. I keep wanting to say snap maws, but not snap maws. It'd be the sawtooths. Sawtooths might have blaze on them because they'd be harvesting, right? Um, and then the uh, the other big guys. I'm totally forgetting the name of right now. 
Not this guy, though. We still have more of these guys, but we do need hearts. There is a... You know what? If he turns around, we might be able to override this guy. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So I can override Snap Moss now. Right. Easy. Kind of easy. You just need to get in the right location, and then he's all ours. Didn't work. There you go. I guess I wasn't holding it down to enough to get the prompt. So we should go after his friend now. We'll save us a little bit of ammunition. So he sees him. Oh, you just gotta see him. There you go. No? You don't see him? Come on, dude. He's right over there. Alright, well, let's make this easier on him. Now turning back. Okay, now the guy's gonna go, what the hell? And this guy's going to attack him. Yeah, there we go. Maybe. Okay, yeah, that totally worked. And since the other guy's down to half, that should be some cake, right? There we go. Yep, total cake. Ate him up like a prime piece of chocolate cake. Are you hungry now? I'm a little bit hungry for chocolate, actually. Might go for some chocolate. Okay, so while this guy is under our control, I'd love to be able to, like, tell him to self-destruct or something. That'd be fantastic, but unfortunately not something we can do. I think that was the only other snap mall in the area, so I think that's it. So what pieces does this guy have that we can harvest? There's a free stack underneath, which is going to be super hard to get to, right? And there's the two blaze canisters on top. Seems like we should be able to harvest those blade canisters, assuming we do some terror blast. It does seem that way. I mean, it seems like we'd be able to get the harvest canisters anyway, just by burning him, but for not to use burning to get this guy, if only because... Um, okay, you know what? This is a bad place to be if we're going to start attacking him, right? Yeah. If we're going to start attacking him, we should go somewhere where it's going to be difficult for him to reach us. Okay. Now we can go and attack him. Okay, back up. We're good. And then I need that. There we go. Which did not take off as much as I thought it was going to. Okay, now he's wondering how the heck to get to me, which is fair. Yeah, we're using hardpoint arrows, not harvest arrows. Taking off pieces of armor, at least. If I can take care of that sack, though, it'll explode. Difficult to hit, but that was a hit. That was a beautiful hit. Uh, I need more frost, uh, frost resistance to make that work. Uh, the slowdown didn't actually help me there. I can take some of his armor away, but... Come on, come on, come on. That was not the kind of hit. There we go, that's the kind of hit I wanted. Oh, he tried. He tried for it. He's not dead yet. There we go, now he's dead. I think he has a heart. He did have a heart. If you bet on heart, you win. What do you win? You win a lifetime supply of um, potatoes. So you win. That's actually like a super duper prize. If you get someone offering you a lifetime supply of potatoes, you should take that up. That would be awesome. I'd take a lifetime supply of potatoes. Dead fish are not going to do much for me because they don't have the right kind of stuff, but that's okay. Actually, I didn't do the bet. I didn't claim the bet beforehand, and neither did you, so you don't actually win anything. Sorry. It's important to state that for the record, you know, just in case. Alright, what do you got? Machine Scavenger Botch. Alright. 
I said botch. I'm sure this almost was, but it still worked out, right? We have a lot of chill water. Definitely be able to sell that. Should probably go to a merchant soon, actually, come to think of it. Okay, we almost at this fire, right? Yes, actually, pretty close. Right, it's up on the ridge, so we actually need to go all the way around back down south again, but that's okay. The important thing is that we are in no danger of dying right now, and no danger of dying when we get to the campfire, as far as I remember. So it's actually a perfect place to save Keep that just clear. so we don't have to do this section again. Now it's possible... Yeah, I think I'm actually done recording for the day. So it's possible when we come back that we could see some uh, some snap maws respawned. It's okay. Take some more snap maw hearts. You know, boost up our prestige in the, in the hunting and I'm sure that'll be totally fine. That watcher just does not know to make of the world. You know what, though? I can set you on fire. Why just whistle for you in the red grass and make you come over to me and then you just Easier die? Easier when I was a kid. That might be a better option. You just whistle for you in the grass. I have to see you first. Well, apparently you have to be closer than that. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this guy. Thank you. Where's that watcher at? There he is. All right. Now he'll come over. We can just poke him to death. Come over, come over. Isn't it Red Rover, Red Rover? May Watcher come over? There you go. We do get more points for stealth kills. We should probably be doing that more often, right? That seemed to make sense. I have been doing pretty well last couple episodes with stealth kills and doing trap kills and all that. Speaking of which, there is a hunter's lodge like right over there. We should probably hit up. I want to get those blazing suns. And I do. I do really do. I don't know what kind of weapons are going to be available, but it really seems like something that could possibly interest me. That is not medicine. Okay. All right. So how close are we to... Okay, so that's the weapon. That's the lodge, huh? That's actually not that far. We're supposed to find the hunting ground lodger anyway. We're pretty close. The tall neck's just over there. Then we have the quest there. Oh, there's another cauldron over here. And the quest there, quest there, quest there. We drove down. We pick up all the quests and stuff over on this side too. Grab that final guy. Loop back around to Meridian and drop off all of our stuff, basically. That is my plan. In order for that plan to work, though, it means we should be doing more of the Blazing Sun stuff. Um, by Blazing Sun stuff, I mean, of course, all the trials. So that's probably going to be quite a few episodes getting all those done. But since we're in this area anyway... Might not be a bad idea. Plus, with all of that, we get a bunch of loot. And there's a merchant here. We can fill up all of our stuff. So, yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to loop around. Um, so I'll save at this fire between episodes so we can just jump right into all the trial stuff and see what we do. So I'll go ahead and flag that. Flag that. There you go. All right. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.